Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I have two figures from the Rocky 40th Anniversary Collection from NECA Toys. On the left, we have Clubber Lang and we have Rocky Balboa on the right. Now both of these figures are from Rocky 3, the one in which Clubber Lang beat Rocky, and then near the end of the movie, Rocky beat Clubber Lang to regain his title. Now NECA has uh, re-released these figures for the 40th anniversary, and I found these at Toys R Us, and they're gonna cost you about $20 each. Now, the interesting thing about these figures are there are variants of them. So what I have here is Rocky with his World Heavyweight title belt, and then this is Clubber Lang with a pretty stoic face. But if you look on the back of the box, uh, you're gonna see that there are two other figures. Both, they're still Rocky and Clubber Lang, but this Clubber Lang has a different color pair of trunks on. You see that he has blue trunks and he has, uh, his mouth is sort of open. You can see his uh, mouthpiece and it looks like he's in the middle of the fight with Rocky. Now this other Rocky on the other hand, he doesn't have like a, a combat face so to speak, but he does have different colored trunks. In this case, they are uh, golden trunks and he does not have the title belt. For that reason, I suspect that this Rocky here is probably going to be the uh, the more popular one of the two simply because he has that belt and his facial expression isn't really all that different on the variant one. With Clubber Lang, it kind of just depends on what you want to do. If you want to have him looking like he's fighting or if you just want to have him looking like he's doing the, uh, the pre-fight uh, stare down. It really just depends. But uh, very simplistic packaging here. You can see on the back, it gives you a little synopsis of what's going on here. I really like the Rocky movies. I'm a big fan of the Rocky movies. And of course, Creed and whatever's coming after Creed. And I missed out on the Rocky, the, uh, the video game uh, version of Rocky where he has the American flag and everything. I missed out on that one, and now that one goes for uh, more than double the original price. But if you can find these and you're a fan of the Rocky series, I highly recommend you go find them now in Toys R Us or try to get them online at ToysRUs.com or even the NECA Toys official eBay page because they also sell figures there as well. So we're gonna be taking a look at both of these guys now. So sit back, relax, let's take them out of the box and get a closer look at them. So let's start things off with Rocky because he is the champ after all. And the first thing that stood out to me the most with this uh, figure in a bad way is that his right eye looks like it's a little off center. It looks like it's a little bit raised and from what I've seen, other people's figures seem to have that exact same problem with the eye being up too high. And it is noticeable, it's right down the face and it just makes me go, why? Because so many other things about this figure is really well done, but that eye does throw me off and I just had to point that out. But however, the whole look of Rocky here is based on the artwork on the Rocky III poster or on the box for the VHS or the DVD. And this is the attire that he was wearing. These are the trunks that he was wearing. So this is just the overall look of what he looked like on that box. And they did a really good job capturing him on that. Now looking at his hair, I really do like his hair. It is very nicely textured. You can feel the little individual grooves and crevices all the way around. In the middle of his hair here, seems to be like a little bit of uh, flesh colored paint. And I am not necessarily sure if that was intentional or if that was, was an error because also on the back of the hair here, I kind of got a little something similar going on. So I don't know if they were trying to capture like uh, nuances and color of Rocky's hair, although I don't recall his hair having uh, different shades of, of, of like brown and black or anything like that. It just seemed jet black to me. But uh, that is what I'm seeing on my figure here. It looks like there's a little bit of white right there, a little bit of an unpainted area, but hey, I'm nitpicking because I'm looking really, really closely. Now the body sculpt of Rocky is very interesting. It's very unique. You see, he's got that musculature to him. Uh, it's defined by all these little lines that are all over his body and his skin tone. It looks like he's wet. You know, it doesn't look like a regular, like a regular skin tone. It has a bit of a shine to it because you know when these boxes come to the ring, they look all oiled up and and you know they're underneath all those hot lights. So they really captured that very well. I have a little bit of errant black paint on Rocky's left arm there, um, but the thing that I uh, really like about this 
about this particular figure is this championship belt that he has around his waist. Now, of course, he is the champ. And I love this belt in particular because it has portraits of some of the other champions uh, from the Rocky series. Uh, so you see on the left here, we got Apollo Creed right there. And then you have uh, Rocky right there. Another thing I like about this Rocky picture is that uh, it's an old picture. So there's a... Uh, you can't see his face entirely because it looks like, you know, the picture was damaged at some point or something like that. And it's just reminiscent of those old film days. So I love that that's right there. I don't think that that's like a paint error or anything or a printing error. That's just how the pictures were back then. And then you have Clubber Lang on the right. And then you also have Ivan Drago over there, too. And um, as far as the movie accuracy goes with this belt i would say that it's not accurate because of course ivan drago didn't show up until rocky 4 so i think this is just neca's way of putting all the all of the um major characters from from the rocky films on this belt even though ivan drago was not a champion uh but still he's a he's still a very big part of the rocky series because he killed apollo and you know i must break you it's a very classic line from that movie. So I really do like this belt. You can't take it off. As you can see, this these latches back here are molded, so you can't take it off. However, it is in the, it is an individual piece from the rest of the character, but it's fit so tightly around Rocky's waist that uh, I really don't think that Nick intended for you to take it off. I'm sure that you could if you struggled with it a little bit, but um, I prefer to just keep it on like that, and that's just fine for me. Now, as far as articulation goes with, with Rocky, um, I'm not expecting a whole lot, and I didn't expect a whole lot because as a boxer, you're not getting a lot of crazy poses, especially like with the legs and, 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 and the knees and stuff. So I wasn't expecting much, but this is what we have going on here. Of course, his arms can move in 360 degrees all the way up. And you also have a single jointed elbow. So that's just going to give you a regular single jointed elbow bend like that. And as you can see, you can also move the shoulders in and out like that. Uh, for the boxing gloves, the boxing gloves feel good because they feel like actual rubber. They feel like real boxing gloves. And I thought that was really great. And they also have this little print on them. Uh, the name of these gloves called uh, uh, the wear or tough wear, sorry. It says tough wear on them and is very nicely printed. I love the shininess of these gloves and you can also slightly hinge these gloves up and down like that. And you can also rotate the gloves and you can see the laces on the gloves and everything. Very nicely detailed gloves there. And as for Rocky's waist, uh, you see you have, you can move his diaphragm around just sort of like that. It sort of moves from left to right, kind of like bobbing and weaving. I do like that. Uh, the shorts are molded individually from the rest of the from the rest of the figure, so you can't move his legs out really, in really hardly any direction. Uh, you can do it a little bit, but like a lot of NECA figures, it is pretty tight. But don't expect to get any cra any kind of like crazy leg articulation. You're not going to be doing splits. You're not going to be doing any uh, like Shawn Michaels poses. You know, you're not going to be doing anything like that. And you also get a single jointed knee right there. You can rotate it at the knee as well. And on the bottom of his feet, you can rotate his feet left and right. Mm, a little bit of pivot, a little bit of pivot there. And on the back of his boots, it also says Rocky. And you have those tassels. And I love those socks, the black socks with the yellow and with the white. Uh, so as far as getting like a pretty static pose goes, you're not going to have any problems with this. But you're, not, you're also not going to get the best articulation in the world. So my advice is to simply find a pose that you like, a pose that you want to go with, and just stick with that. The pose that I think I, I'm going to go with with this guy is uh, probably something that looks kind of similar to this, just with his uh, arms up like that. Of course, I would have to pose him a little bit differently so he won't look as awkward, but you kind of get the point in the picture that I'm going for here. So this is the Rocky figure. I really do like this Rocky figure. However, I gotta say I like Clubber Lang more. Um, that face sculpt is like dead on. Clubber Lang looks just like him, looks just like Mr. T. That mohawk is really well done. That facial hair looks lined up really, really nicely. This is such a great, a great look for him. I mean, just that, that frown on his face, that always angry look, that it, it is really, 
really accurate. Neca did a great job. I think that the face design, the face sculpt on Clubber Lang is better than Rocky. That's just my opinion. And of course, Clubber Lang also has the same shiny-ish body that Rocky has because, you know, boxers oiled up and sweaty. That's how they roll. And you can see the muscular definition, the muscle definition on his chest, going through his arms and on his back, and even like different uh, shading. You know, it's not his skin tone isn't just that one solid color. There's some there's some darker areas in there, and that's great for the shading. Rocky kind of has that going on too, uh, but it works especially well with uh, with Clubber with Clubber Lang here. Now he's wearing these black and white trunks that also look great, and you see it says Clubber right there on the uh, on the front part of the elastic and of course CL for Clubber Lang right there on the left side of his of his trunks. I think that the socks came out to be uh, a little bit cleaner than they uh, did on Rocky at least in my eyes and he also has the tassels on either side. Um, he has the same articulation as Rocky so I'm not going to go over it again but it's the same thing that you got going on um, as far as the arms, as far as the uh, movement and the gloves, he's also wearing uh, the tough wear gloves. And I think that this figure right here is, uh, I think he's the better of the two. Um, I, this is the variant of him just kind of looking like, you know, pre-match stare down. But there's also another one where he uh, is kind of more in a fighting, uh, more of a fighting look on his face where his, uh, where his mouthpiece is showing and he looks like he's trying to deliver like a right-handed haymaker. And I really like the look of that figure as well. Um, but I wanted to get this one in his regular pose because the Rocky also has a regular pose. And I really wish that the Rocky would have had a fighting, uh, a fighting look as well so that you can just sort of pair those up and display them together. But this Clubber Lang looks absolutely fantastic. They even textured his mohawk so you can feel that. You can feel all of the individually molded details inside of his mohawk. So really fantastic. I think that these two figures, if you hadn't already gotten their original versions of them, definitely pick these guys up, especially if you're a big Rocky fan. These type of figures don't come around all that often from NECA. We get a lot of uh, Alien vs. Predator. We used to get a lot of Planet of the Apes stuff. Uh, Friday the 13th, you know, those classic films like that. We tend to get a lot of those, but as far as stuff like Rocky, not so much. It's like an every now and then kind of thing. So now is the time to strike and get these if you are a fan of the movie. I think that they're really well done. I like the way that they came out as far as those face scopes go, especially for Mr. T. He doesn't have the same eye problem as Rocky has. I think they did a great job on these gloves and just... I put these guys on Instagram just to show people that I got them. And even the people who aren't into figures decided like, hey, that's pretty cool because that's how wide reaching the Rocky franchise is and how much people like them. So I can only imagine that if you are into toys and you are into Rocky, definitely pick these up. They're 20 bucks each. Get them before the secondhand market takes advantage of you because that will happen. So they are definitely a recommendation for me. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more reviews and stuff like this, please be sure to subscribe if you want. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.